Hello world, this is what's up 290 and today in this video I'm going to be showing you guys a pretty cool method on how to make any trial um, trial time restriction on a program la last forever, get rid of a trial uh, and make your trial on your program last forever on Windows. So what you're going to want to do is go to this link right here, which will have this link in the description too and download this ISO file, cracklock.versionnumber.iso. Now it is an ISO file, so you are going to need a, pr a program that can extract ISO files. I believe 7-zip can. I'm not sure about it though. If not, try Power ISO, which can extract ISO files. So once you've downloaded the ISO file, what you're going to want to do is just open it with your, with your ISO extractor, click Extract, and then extract all files somewhere. And it'll extract, the, the ISO actually just extracts to this RAR file. So extract the RAR file. Then you'll get this. What you're going to want to do is run this installer. Cracklock 3.994.exe and this will install Cracklock onto your computer. I already have it installed so I'm not going to install it. But once it's done installing, what you're going to want to do is open it, and it'll be this program, Cracklock Manager. So once, you're, so once you open it, you'll get something that looks like this. What you're going to want to do is click Add Program, and then just on, and then just on your computer, what you're going to want to do is locate the .exe file for the program you're trying to bypass the trial, the trial restriction on. So just click where just click this PC and what unless you told it to install somewhere else, it probably installed in one of these two. Check this one, like try searching for try searching for it up here. And then if it's not there, check check this one because program files it'll it Windows 10 installs 64 bit programs in the regular in a this folder here in 32 bit. Uh, programs in this folder here. That is 64-bit goes here, 32-bit here. So what you're going to want to do is just go to whatever, go to the folder, and then locate the fold the folder where your where your uh, where your uh, time where your the program you want to bypass the time trial on is installed. Then I just what you want to do is just then. Go to the folder and, and uh, select the the executable file of the program. The, the executable file that you click on it and it runs. That is the program itself. Then just click open. I already have that program added, so it does, so it's not really going to do much. Then what you're going to want to do is is check virtual date, and then check basically what what you want to do here is check a day. That your that your trial for your program is valid in. One so basically, like if you had a trial that lasted from this day to this day, from whatever day, whatever day, you want to check one of the days in between those days. So once those those days, so once you've done that, check virtual time zone and select the time zone where you live here. Then what you want to do is come and check freeze date and time then click apply then okay and that's it uh, once you've once you've done that you're pr basically what this will do is it will put that pro import it is it will put the program on a separate clock where it's always the day that you selected thus once it since it's always the day that you selected your trial will if you chose a, a correct date where your trial is valid and your trial will never actually technically reach its end because that this program is just taking that the program you're trying to bypass the trial on and um, basically just tricks it into believing that it tricks it into believing that it's this that it's the same day over and over and over and over and over again over again so that's about it I hope this works for you and uh, Remember to use this responsibly.
I'm not liable for anything you decide to do. That's about it. This is What's Up 290, and I'm signing off. Have a nice day. See you next video.